is Pokemon Unite balanced? This is a question I get asked a lot. Like people either ask me, most of them are new players, of course, because there's a lot of Believe it or not, there's a lot of new players that start to download this game and play this game every day. But a lot of people ask me if this game is balanced, if there's pay to win, and if there are characters that are just overpowered, right? That you gotta use every game or you'll lose. So let's talk about it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Be sure to like, sub if you're new, and let's go. So if you haven't watched my tier list video yet, be sure to watch it. But I basically go over the characters that I think that are OP, like look at my tier list. There's of course a couple characters that are just S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier of course. Why I have like all these legendaries at D tier because honestly they are actually like over, they're actually overpowered, like it's, it's dumb. But the balance has been a bit better. So also with the addition of draft, which in draft as you guys can see, there's a lot of stuff on the screen, but in the top left and in the top right, you see bans. So basically, all the legendaries that there are, you can ban them out. So they're not going to be in your game. The issue with that is you got to be 1400. So when you reach master rank, there's points that you got and you got to keep winning, winning, winning to get 1400. Eventually, most people will probably get it because it's honestly not that hard to get by the end of the season for anyone. And you'll start seeing more draft games because everyone has to be 1400. And to be honest, I've been getting way more draft games as of recent. But about the balance. So most people, the, the characters they ban are going to be Maridon, Mewtwo. And I don't see a lot of Zacian bans actually because no one really picks him. But then we have to go to our S tier characters. So by far the best character outside of Maraidon and Mewtwo, you can arguably even, some people will put him above those characters, is Buzzwool. Like in every game, in every draft, people ban out Buzzwool because he is just straight up broken. Like the moveset he has is honestly way like too crazy because you can, like you can grab someone and you're stuck. And after that, you can punch them back and there's nothing you can do in this time to like counter it. Like if you're if he grabs you, you're just in the combo. And when he reaches a certain level, he can even extend his combo by grabbing you again. So he gets banned, definitely. And Umbreon also gets banned right away, pretty much any game. Then you got two more bans, and then most people will either pick like Marido, Mewtwo. Some people will pick like Clefable, people will pick, I've seen like some Blastoise bands because Blastoise is honestly, if you take all those characters out, Blastoise is definitely top 3 right now outside of those characters. He's really, really good. Some people like they ban Dojo, but there's like, to answer the question if this game is balanced, if you're in a draft mode, I would say yes, because you can ban out the stuff that is overpowered. Outside of draft mode, when you're just playing with randoms, maybe you're playing in a lower rank, which is fine. It becomes kind of toxic because you can run up against a team of a Buzzwool and a Clefable top lane, a Glaceon and Jungle or like Dojo or Muscarada, and then bottom lane like a Blastoise and like one of the Eevees, which is crazy overpowered if you ask me. Like, <laughs> it's one that, that's like one of the best team compositions you can have. You can like face a Maridon, that you face a Mewtwo. There's nothing to ban. And those characters are just so much better than the others to where like even a trash player that has a low win percentage can get a higher win percentage by just picking Mewtwo or just picking Maridon or picking one of those Pokemon, right? So it depends. Like in normal, I think it's kind of unbalanced, but like with most games, it's it's hard to like have a perfectly balanced game. I'll give it to Pokemon Unite though, because there was a time when, I don't know if you guys will remember it, it was the worst time maybe in all of Pokemon Unite, definitely when I played, but when Mewtwo Y came out, even X, but when Y came out, it was just terrible. We had to play for like months with Mewtwo Y and Blissey and it was just stupid. But after the e when you couldn't use an EX Pokemon in ranked, oh, the game was beautiful. Like, I'm telling you, th there was still Buzzwool, but the game was in such a beautiful state to where you would just want to play every day because it was just so balanced. But now with the EX Pokemon back and of course Buzzwool, it, it's kind of rough. 
honestly want to know what you guys think though because everyone has their own experience in this game of course so be sure to like let me know down below what you guys think and i'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next one